I just finally picked up the new M1 Mac Mini. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here with my new Mac Mini. This is actually replacing my Mac Pro desktop, and I did a video a long time ago about why I did not get the new Mac Mini when it had the Intel series of chips, and that's because they were really expensive, and they didn't really outperform some of the old legacy Macs. In fact, the Mac Pro had very similar specs, very similar benchmarks, and was cheaper than buying a Mac Mini at the time, but things have changed here. Apple released this Mac Mini, which looks just like every other Mac Mini, except this one has the Apple M1 chip in it, which is supposed to be very fast across the board. Now, I will say the reason that I decided to pull the trigger on this one is because I've been super happy with my MacBook Air, which has the M1 chip. It's been very, very quick. In fact, sometimes I feel like some of the tasks that I do on the MacBook are done considerably faster than when I do them on my desktop. So I thought maybe it's a good time to upgrade. And this is what it looks like. It looks just like every other Mac mini wrapped in plastic which is exactly the same way that i was born and it's actually pretty big we get this bead blasted aluminum enclosure very glossy i'm gonna put my fingerprint right in there logo right on top it's actually fairly large i'd call this almost eight inches across here obviously it kind of looks like a giant apple tv one of the things that you can see here on the bottom is that it's just slightly rounded we have this plastic bottom right here it's not rubberized or very grippy or anything but but it says Mac Mini right there. We also have plastic right across the front here. That's not the front, it's actually the back. And what you can see here is we have a little vent for cooling. We also have the power button around the side. So it's kind of nice because if it's facing you like this, you can just reach around and hit this power button. Sometimes those power buttons are better off being put in the front. Power plug right there, cable for ethernet, two Thunderbolt 4 or USB-C ports, I believe, HDMI, and then two USB ports right there and a headphone jack. So I'm gonna use all of those. In fact, what I got was one of those USB port extenders for the Mac because I needed more things plugged in than just that. We also get some documentation here. And then the power cable right here. And I would say this is about six feet long, five and a half feet long, uh, two prong outlet right there. I do like the fact that it is fairly low. One of the things that I've heard is that these things can get pretty warm, but that's a quick unboxing of the M1 Mac Mini. So if a speedy, small desktop computer is going to make your life a little bit better, I'll put a link to this one in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out. We can discover more and explore so much deeper. We can live better than ever things to Peter. Peter Von Panda. I just finally picked up the new M1 MacBook. <laughs> not MacBook at all.